Cloud. Cloud. Cloud, you're on Cloud. Yep. Oh, okay. You went to me. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's see. I mean, Diego actually doesn't really like to me. He told me before he doesn't like playing against them. It's because he went to Kyrie Saga once and lost against every two week in a quick pack. Or he didn't do well against them. I don't know what Diego's gonna do against his wall. I think he's just gonna, gonna abuse his speed and short hop, so just jump over everything. He's gonna jump over pretty much every projectile, use his big sword to outrange his. But these Toon League changes are kinda nice. His back here now combos into itself really well. He got his new forward smash, so it doesn't have the slow Toon League one. I mean the Link one. I wonder why he opts to use Toon Link instead of Young Link when Young Link's just... Oh shoot, oh whoa, never mind. <laughs> uh, he's only gonna get that. He's feeling it. I'm pretty sure Clouds don't go for those risky side Bs or cross slashes until they have a read on their opponent. After game two, yeah, they're gonna go for it. Because they know, they know exactly what they're gonna do. That was a I good back Yeah, I think this is a free edge guard. Never mind. Back air? Short hop back air? Yep. Okay, actually kind of missed the limit? Oh, okay, he's about to get it. Okay, the limit is in. He's gonna be patient, wait it out. I think he's gonna kill with back air. No, he's probably gonna limit blade beam too? Yup. <laughs> uh, yeah, that F tilt is so good at his leg. It's like one of Cloud's few options he has on ledge. He has back air. Yeah, but like back air, F tilt, that's about it. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's the quickest option that he has in the corner. It's the safest, I believe it's the safest aerial. Yeah. Is that. Yeah, he could have got a really good conversion out of that fair, but I think he just missed space himself. Yeah, I feel like between Cloud means is it gonna be their fair conversion that really turned the point? Like, all right, I can get 60% out of this one fair, I can get 30% easy. These so are their fair conversions. Yeah, so he opts to not use limit of B because he's like, nah, I got this. Shoots, it pretty much covered him. Yeah, Cause yeah. He can, you're still vulnerable, you can still get two frames, which is kind of hard, but it's still possible. And oh, no, got two frames. You guys there now. If that was Smash 4, that might have been it. Yeah. Alright, Daryl gonna go back to his back air pressure? No, he's actually bending out control. You can see, like, well, why no punish? <laughs> he, he was scared, he was scared. Cause he didn't expect it. You can see like the shift in his play, like in Diego's play, because now he has to play a lot safer due to his percent. It, have you noticed he's like a lot more whiff punishy instead of going in? Yeah, he's not going for any risky or not risky, but he's not committing. He's not committing enough. He's just kind of getting hits. It's kind of what you have to do when you're high percent. Yeah. You just get a few hits in there. If, oh. but if you just die, it's still extra credit. Okay. Oh my God. Sour spot F two. Those F two have such good range. They just gave it like a high arc angle now. Oh, Josh, is even taller. So now we have, dude, Diego is keeping this lead, man. He does not want to lose it. 179. See if he can make. Uh, out of everything at that percent, he dies to a forward smash. Dude, it's because I feel like Baja didn't have an answer for the ground game. He's like, because Toon League doesn't really have like good ground game options. Other than Boomerang and Bomb, maybe? Yeah. We haven't seen yet oh. much out of the Bomb. Yeah, I feel like he's not converting enough out of like his projectile hits. He's kind of just getting single hits here and there. He's playing the the projectile game pretty much. Just making sure that you can hit him. Just rack up damage really quickly and not commit. I feel like he has to uh, like he can like Toon Link is not a character that can be just strictly zoning. I think because you have to go in at some point to get the hit. Yeah. You get me? He can't just keep running away. And he has a, he definitely has the speed and air and the air mobility to keep up. Gonna be. Oh, this is basic practice. So Diego's just fishing hard for something. He's waiting for him. he's waiting for Baja to commit so he can do a hard punish. You can tell the way he's playing. He's waiting for one committal option. Baja did a good job with that bomb, covering himself. See, is he about to do it? There's him. Dude, it, it just looks like Diego's like swatting a fly. I swear, <laughs> that's how this looks like. He just keeps like throwing out back air and air, try, hoping to hit him. Dude, this up is just so good at recovering from that lane. Is he there? Is he? I feel like dash attack coming. Is he gonna do it? No, nah, he's actually shielding a lot, like, yeah. so I don't recommend And he's gonna have to. <laughs> okay, up that B, up B. Yeah, there we go. Imagine that up B kill. Dude, it should. <laughs> just give him, uh, they just give him unlimited limit up B. Oh, there we go. 
Actually, li up B does kill. That's true, you're right. But with limit. Limit up B does kill. Alright, let's see how he did it. Corner, read the roll. Up B hit him. Then Baja tried pushing himself in. Oh, that's what I'm saying. He's not getting enough fair conversions. Yeah, he's not converting enough. Like, the biggest problem that Baja is doing is not converting off of Bomb and Boomerang. Mm -hmm. He kind of just hits him, and Diego gets away for free. Yeah. And that's going to be your big opportunities. Because the few opportunities he's gotten hits it, he hasn't really done much with them. He's just kind of like poking at him and doing enough. Yeah, he's just. He's just nicking him. Like, he nicks him. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't gotten. And since he hasn't been able to get him into enough percent, he hasn't been putting him in those edge guard situations that Cloud really needs to be playing. Yeah. And like, what Baja could do is, like, after the bombs, get a fair and then get a possible, like, edge guard situation. Mm -hmm. But it's just not happening. Yeah. So, so Diego's staying on stage to, like, 180. <laughs> so. Like, come this on. Is forever. Alright, let's see what he does. There. Oh. Dude, that was the perfect hitbox, I think, for fair. He could have gotten so much out of that. Oh, he went for the spike? Okay. I thought he was actually going for something hard. Oh, oh okay. Baja's going in. Oh, the okay. mix-up. This is exactly what I see from Baja. He's getting so much now out of his one conversion. Yeah, Chase him out. Limits online. He's playing around. He's actually dancing around Diego right now. And since Diego, he hasn't responded this hard to Diego, he's not used to it. You gotta pretty much get used to this new type of Baja. I think the biggest problem that Diego's facing right now is the stage. The stage is adding so much for Baja, in my opinion. Yeah, he's able to run away and sloppy DI. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You just back your own, catch him off guard hard. Catch him off guard hard, dude. Hard, 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 hard. hard. Easy punish. Do you think that was the most optimal up throw with Cloud at early percents? Yeah, because I guess he wanted to put him up to Bobo. Because Sumi doesn't really have much to land with. Other than his like, good air mobility. Jesus Christ. But that's the uh, Diego special. Dude, the bomb got him. <laughs> the boomerang got him now. No, the bomb when he hit when he was going down. Oh. He like upbeat the bomb, and then when he was going down, and right before like he touched the ledge, the bomb exploded and got him. The Diego special for Yep. Oh, the platform actually messing up his up beat right there, but. Dude, imagine out. killing someone like that. Like the slam down knockback off top platform kills. That'd be crazy. Oh, that was really good by Diego. Trying to go for a mix up, back, uh, Trump back here. And we're seeing the same problem. Baja has let Diego live to 170. I guess he's not used to. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember, he gets flashbacks of that. Because when I first started Smash, oh my goodness. I always got hit by those dumb back throws. Right, but Diego, is he actually playing super safe? We almost never see him commit to anything that hard. Until yeah. now. Like, you, you can see right there, that platform in the middle is covering so much space while Baja's on ledge. Like, he doesn't really have an option to jump because it's just like a wall. Oh, uh, catches the jumping. I guess it's, he had bomb. He kind of predicted he wanted to go offensively. I feel like Diego's not really getting, like, any super crazy conversions. Like, true conversions. It's just him keep applying pressure over and over and he keeps working. Kind of like what Zero did in Smash 4 at ledge. He just kind of... Just kept on my ledge forever. Dude, come on, Baja, stop dropping these conversions, please. It's it's hurting me. Maybe he hasn't labbed the character enough, or he hasn't gone to train your room. They're making sure like they're perfect. Yeah. And after you get out like one hour, just hitting your combos, you go online, you realize this is Wi-Fi. I can't hit anything. Okay, that was beautiful right there. Yeah. Reading the air dodge in. Yeah. He didn't even have to up B. And it was and it was pretty far. That the aerial drift. Air dodge is so good in this game, especially the characters with these type of recoveries. Oh, you see Baja? Oh, he's dead. Yep. <laughs> Diego went for it. He had his double jump, so he had a chance to make it back. Yeah. That was really nice by Diego. He's just pretty much keeping Baja at the corner, making sure. All right, you're not gonna get anything started. Because once he gave him space, that's I think that's a really important part too. He never gave him space yeah. to run away or play his or play his item game. Because I'm pretty sure that's what back Baja kind of made. <laughs> Yeah, Diego did a really good job, like, continuing to apply pressure, and he never let his momentum, like, really lose itself. Like, in Battlefield, when Baja was cornering himself, like, in the, in the, in the, on the ledge, 
and using the platform, the top platform to shield them. Diego was smart. I was like, you know what? I have no reason to approach. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to do anything. Like, I don't need to hit you. Like, you have to leave ledge eventually. I have the lead. I don't care. But good job to Diego right, for yeah. winning. 